season five, episode seven. This one's called Ace Chemicals. So guys, we did see from the last episode, Jerome kidnapped, uh, you know, Alfred. Obviously, he's using Alfred uh, to, you know, use it against uh, Bruce. So we got to see what his whole plan completely is. We know that he made uh, Bruce's parents or whatever. We've seen from that uh, that scene because that's got to be his parents or whatever. Not his real parents, but the fake parents. And um, he's trying to he's trying to do everything he can to traumatize uh, Bruce or whatever he's trying to do that I think that's his plan at least one of his plans But that's why he kidnapped uh, Alfred. He's trying to use him against uh, Bruce I mean, he's not gonna kill Alfred. He's obviously doing this for a reason obviously trying to get under uh, Bruce's skin or trying to make him You know become something uh, Obviously he's seen that vision as well from Rachel Ghoul as well So I gotta remember that he's seen the vision I think Jeremiah knows exactly what Bruce is gonna become and I think that's what he's trying to make him become I'm assuming that Walker is Amanda Walker that's what I'm su assuming because it didn't she didn't they didn't say particularly Amanda but I mean Amanda Walker is the only person I know that would do something like that so it's got to be Amanda Walker and she's she's here to you know finish the job uh, she got you know Eduardo or whatever you know his name is uh, I thought he was gonna probably be dead because what you know Jim Gordon you know we pushed him against the, the rail or whatever he pushed him against and I thought he was gonna die right there but no uh, Walker is saving him he wants to use him again for her own agenda I mean other than that it's just getting crazy and I know like I think I said this too like with Barbara getting pregnant by Jim Gordon I'm like I'm like Jim are you kidding me I was like are you I was just like I was not expecting that I was not expecting that to even happen but it did now that's it, everyone was just sitting there like this is awkward as hell even Harvey was like Dude, that's your problem now. Yeah, other than that, guys, this was a really good episode. Uh, the Patreon sponsor for today is from Tyler. Uh, Tyler, thank you for your wonderful support for this month. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Make sure you just go on the page and consider joining. our appreciate the support that does come around. Anyway, guys, let's get into this next episode for Gotham. Which way? Wait. Four men. Looks like they breathed in some sort of chemical agent. I'm thinking air. Bank. It seems like they escaped from here. Film set. I said it was weird. Might be someone else. Disease on their chest. I don't know. Think it could be Zaz? Well, chemicals aren't really his M.O. He's going anyway. Oh, that was planted there. No, it's part of the plan. No! We've had our differences. You tried to kill me, Barbara. Twice. That was years ago. There are other doctors it was years here. Ago. Not as good as you. Look, whatever you think of me, my child is innocent, and I want the best for it. And in this place, that means you. I only told you because I felt you had a right to know, but your involvement in this ended the moment you put your pants back on. <sighs> After all, we have a guest. You sick man. Welcome home, Bruce. Finalize my project. Manners, Master Bruce. It's not being rude to my guest. Especially when I come bearing gifts. Oh my god. Jeremiah. On bone structure and on belt. Just a touch of plastic surgery and voila. What's the most important day of your life? And I didn't get to be a part of it. Stop shop, we're on a very tight schedule. Of course, Mr. Jeremiah. That is insane, man. He wants to be a part of the whole experience with him. Oh, look! He's swimming ashore. <laughs> He's swimming ashore and he blew up. Alfred told me such great tidbits about your childhood. How you used to eat here. In the kitchen, when it was just you and the family. My, how homey and intimate. Dude, I'll be... A grilled cheese and Branston pickles sandwich, Mr. Jeremiah. The final touch. The necklace. I just want to 
can't be connected to you. I offered for you to be my best friend. But I have realized if we can't be friends, we can be connected in other ways. Like this. How? You'll see. Why kill your parents all over time? Look at the smoke. Someone restarted production. Tick tock, the chemical stock shall give our Gotham an aftershock. Tick tock, the chemical stock. Order one and one for all! Ah! It's a grand old ball! You who eat this song? Ow! Alfred! Alfred! We need to get out of here. Oh, Master Bruce, I was just taking a quiet moment to tidy up. We need to go. Bombs. No! No, the man is destroying! You, uh... Oh, yeah, I remember everything. Clear as day. Let me tell you, if I see that Jarvis Tetch character again, I'll stick that watch so far Jar up. Tetch. His nose. I thought I lost you. Me? Never. Save it till we're out of here. Fair enough. You need to find out what Velasco's planning. I take away your games and your rhymes. Nothing but a second raider with a real Target silly hat. Head. Shut up. Are you running from your past? And you become someone new? No. You think that because I did not kill Jeremiah does not mean that I won't kill you. <gasps> Selena. You killed my friend Tabitha. Put the knife down. <laughs> Bruce needs you. <laughs> Scary is. Help me to the green zone. Of course. It's that way. Ole! Oh no, it's oh, a made up Bruce. movie. Well, here we are. The theater or where maybe... your mommy and daddy took you to see the Mark of Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this the part where you became frightened when you asked your parents to leave? Stop! That's far enough, Bruce. Jeremiah, you don't have to do this. But I... I do. See, I, I came to this realization. I realized that no matter what I did to bond us, some random gunman in an alley would be the man who you were tied to the most. Why don't you turn around? No! Oh, you better not. Jim! <laughs> this is all for you, Bruce. No! Oh, Selena! No. Yes! Turn the people in the green zone to get to cover. What are you? Jim! Jeremiah! Face me! Pure Bruce! Crap! Uh, this way versus the Joker. Pretty much sure my Joker, for real. Later. He might fall in there, I think. Watch. Don't you? Oh, Bruce, you feel it. Tell me you feel it. Yes. <sighs> You mean nothing to me. No! No! Here we are, in this room, together. 
It means fate has different plans for us. And I think it's time we escaped. I think he's all for it. To everything you said, suddenly you're having a baby with Barbara, of all people. Yeah. Oh my god! Are you gonna have a baby with her now? Like I said, flip flopping to d different women. I can't believe he's still alive. They've been doing scans and he has no brain activity. Not much, but it's home. I've been looking through your treasure trove. You've been a very naughty boy. You're pregnant. How could you possibly know that? Look at you. She's glowing. You're glowing. It's a submarine. A submarine? It can track mines in the river using sonar. I mean, that's a good idea. So where's the submarine? You have to build it. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh. Call me when it's done. So who's the lucky father? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this was a really good episode. I, I cannot wait to see the, uh, the next episode. The fight between uh, Jeremiah and... Um, Bruce was really cool. He fell into the chemical, you know, batch or whatever, and he's still alive. So now we know that Jeremiah is going to definitely come back. Later on, we know he's going to be alive. And he's going to come back some way, somehow. But you can definitely see his face is all messed up. It's just, he looks hideous now. He looks, doesn't look the same anymore. Just to see how Jeremiah is just trying to get into uh, Bruce's head is just, you know, fascinating, to be honest. Because we know how the relationship w between Joker and, of course, Batman are just, is really complicated. Like, Joker is a killer but for some reason i mean he wants to it's like he wants to kill batman but he doesn't it's like he wants to keep him alive of course to you know have fun with them he is like it's like they both can't live without each other in a way it, that's how it seemed like even in like the dark knight uh with christopher nolan making that movie it's just it's something like that but it was really cool seeing those two fight it out I, I definitely want more screen time with those two you might not get it with jeremiah at this point anymore because he's in a coma and seeing the the riddler noticing that barbara is pregnant because she you know she's glowing i'm like i wouldn't even know i'm like i'm not even saying the same thing barbara i'm like how do you even know that i guess the way you look the way you're standing or whatever she she couldn't even kill penguin because she's thinking about her own child i'm like wow that's a huge change because usually she could just do it like that no she just didn't do it <laughs> i was actually pretty surprised about that the riddler and penguin are they're gonna build a submarine they're gonna take barbara uh with it with them even though I wouldn't be surprised if Penguin, you know, portrays Barbara. It's like, there's always backstabbing. There's a bunch of backstabbing in these in the show. It's always been like that. If I was Barbara, I wouldn't trust them. But she's going to see if they're going to hold their word or whatever. So and just the sickening part of uh, Jeremiah trying to recreate uh, the death of, you know, Bruce's mother and his father. But, of course, using Lee Tompkins and uh, uh, Jim Gordon. Because uh, he, he's not stupid, right? He's actually, you know, when Bruce said, that won't affect me anymore. Even if you do it with those, you know, people who are not my parents. He's he's basically thinking, okay, let me do it with people he knows to recreate that. The government doesn't want no unity or trying to, you know, take back the city. And they're staying out of it. And it's just like, are you serious? Like, I mean, Jim Gordon all season's just been asking for help and no one's helping. No one. We'll see from in this end of the episode if they get help or not. I don't know. It doesn't look promising at all in the way it looks. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure to go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction. Also, consider supporting the channel as well. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you next Gotham.